Hi everyone. Welcome to another video of Food and Beverage Club. And today, let's talk about ABV and alcoholic proof. But before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have seen a liquor bottle, then you may have noticed its label contains two different numbers, both of which indicates how much alcohol is there? The first is ABV and the second number is proof. Let's talk about ABV first. ABV is expanded as alcohol by volume, which means the percentage of ethanol present in 100 ml of drink at 20 degrees Celsius. This method is standardized and used with every type of liquor. The other number is quite a bit complex. So what really is a proof? The term date back to 16th century in England when spirits were taxed according to the amount of alcohol present in it and they used to conduct a test called as burn or no burn test in which alcohol that would ignite was said to be above proof and which would not was considered under proof. Means here proof term was used as a measure of high content of alcohol in a drink. But alcohol permeability is highly dependent on temperature. So actually this method was not that much effective. Then another method was introduced in which gunpowder was soaked in a spirit. If the gunpowder still burns then it was rated overproof spirit. Otherwise the spirit was called as underproof spirit. This method was comparatively less variable but still not that much reliable. In around 17th century, English people introduced a method in which proof was established using measurement of density and gravity, setting the starting point of proof at 57.06 ABV. This was further standardized in 1952 when UK started using proof to ABV ratio of 4 to 7, which means proof was calculated by multiplying ABV by 1.75. In United States, proof system was established and was calculated by just doubling the ABV, that is, multiplying ABV by 2. French people also established a much simpler version of calculating proof, in which ABV is equal to alcoholic proof. Let's take an example for better understanding. So, if there is a liquor bottle with 45% ABV, then in UK it will translate to 78.9 proof, while in US it will be 90 proof, and in France it will be 45 proof. So this is all about the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.